This is Bloom, the latest enchanting addition to Minecraft. That's right, we're going on a bit of a gardening adventure. <gasps> Make sure to wear your favorite gardening skins, because that's what we're going to be doing in this enchanting and delightful landscape. So yeah, this actually should be a good, relaxing, easygoing time. Can we sit on the bench? No. Interact to start. Blue. Find three tools. Cultivation, exploration, and customization. The watering can. Oh, yeah, you gotta water it. I don't know if it's doing anything. Well, anyways, we've got a watering can, so that's kind of cool. We need to find the rest of the tools. Oh, we need a mallet for that. But yeah, it's just kind of this enchanting kind of garden area that you are exploring, and there's giant fish, and it's just kind of really lovely. That's that's the main thing here. It's kind of a nice, tranquil, calm, relaxing experience. With hopefully custom music. That doesn't get me in any trouble. <laughs> yep. Shears. <laughs> like the sound that makes. It really is kind of relaxing and calming. <gasps> and what do we have here? The trowel. Use the pruner. Gather clippings from the wild plants around me. Oh, garden guide number one. There are six essential tools for any gardener. The trowel, the pruners. When plants interact with them, you can plant clippings on prepared dirt, watering can, hatchets, matok. Plants need to be watered until they grow. That's delightful. And then we can take our little plant and we can plant it and then we can water it. <laughs> no, let's right or left click on this. Oh, look at that, the water stream. This is actually kind of impressive, I gotta be honest with you. Ooh, anything cool in here? The gardening table. What's that sound? from each of the plants. That sounds like a lot of work. Now, does it mean flowers or actual plants? I do like the clicking sound it makes. Upgrade my cottage? So yeah, it's, it's kind of like it's just an advanced gardening game. That's what it is. It offers some levels of expansion. Remove the magical barrier. It won't keep me back. Yes, it will. It's an invisible wall. And then you can level up and improve your garden. It's kind of cool. I can see this being a delightfully calming experience for most people to jump into and have a good time with. Anything cool back this way? A bridge, a big town area. They actually offer a lot of different areas that you can visit in this. Let's see, uh, we need to... I don't know if this is one, yeah, it's, it's the left click. Magical pollen. Let's see what we got here. Put that one there, put that one there. I think we already got that one though. Drink the water. I have started my garden. I think it looks enchanting. Drink. Drink my plants. <laughs> That's literally what I'm doing. I'm, I'm growing plants. I'm working on it. We got those ones. Uh, we have these. I think we have one of these. Grab one of these. Uh, 
Anything else that's kind of cool and different? I guess we'll get one of those. I don't know if we can take from the lily pad. I got like, oh, we got the koi fish there. I think we already got the blue. Sure, we've already got that, but, uh, you know. Alright, catch whatever we can. Well, not catch, but gather. We escape out the secret side area? No, we cannot. Well, that's disappointing. But yeah, it's kind of like a preset thing with lots of different areas that you can build off of and do crazy things with. Kind of exciting. Can I not cut through this? Nothing's happening. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, looks like a statue kind of thing. Hmm. That's pretty cool. We can grow something here. Drink. Drink the water. As you can tell, I have lacking the patience for doing this kind of thing. That's some cool looking wood. I like the designs though. Definitely some cool custom things. Edge maze, the greenhouse. That's that's nice. Cool, so this nice house here as well. Ooh, a little bit of a campfire. Would have been nice to have some furnishings or something like that. Oh, is that a picture of my house? Oh, that's delightful. Yeah, I was hoping I'd have, like, a, I don't know, a table? <laughs> Do I just live on the bed? Do I have a TV or anything? A little depressing. Oh, what is this? Use the pollen to destroy the barrier. This is crazy. I like how I can jump over fences. Oh, the magical barrier is gone. It's a new land filled with opportunity and discovery. The world is free to explore, collect flowers, grow your garden, repair structures, and decorate to your liking. Eat for that one. Ooh, it's a lot of magical pollen. I am digging the music, though. I like it. Left it on this time. Hopefully it doesn't come to bite me. Yeah, it's just kind of like this really easygoing, fun kind of thing. I like the look of it, too. They've got like a neat sort of like texturing style. Ooh. Well, that's not what I meant to see. I like the snatches. That's awesome. Oh, what is this? I found the hatchet. Now I can cut stuff and cut people. Rotting rot or chopping rotten legs and stumps. Sick. So we still need the mallet though, right? I have a feeling it's around here somewhere. Oh, this is a lovely little garden area. Kind of delightful. We need 32 for that area. But just like you can see, there's so many different sections that you can kind of work towards. And, I, you know, I think it's a pretty well done job in this one. It's uh, restricted, but it gives you a little bit of a sense of, like, working to actually get to different areas. You know, you actually gotta do stuff and get things out. 24 clutter left! Ooh, that's new. Trying to collect some fresh plants. So do I have to bring everything back to my kind of garden? Is that what the, the thing is here? The gist of this is having to actually travel and clean up clutter in order to make this place nicer? I don't know, I kind of like the overgrown look. I'm assuming we can collect stone from all of the different um, kind of stone areas. I'd rather I need to find the mallets so that I can actually get rid of that bad stuff too. Oh, that's nice. Little, little fountain there. Ooh, off into the darker parts of the forest. I'm not supposed to go down here after night. Scary. Well, that's what Bridgerton would have me believe. Okay, let's, uh, well, I guess we can't go that way at all. It would be nice if we could. But let's go and uh, plant some more of this stuff here in kind of main gardening area so we get that growing. There we go. 
Let's see what else we got here. We actually might run out of space for our tranquil planting. Give it all a little bit of water. Might as well set up this other spot too, am I right? I'm gonna run out of little areas, that's not good. I've collected too many plants. We'll have some lovely flowers though, as you can tell I'm just a master gardener. It's just my limes upstairs that will not grow. They have forsaken me. Ooh, okay, we'll give that a little bit of a splash. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, they just need love and care. That's that's all it is. <gasps> it looks like it's getting dark out in the garden. If there's one thing I've learned from Bridgerton, and you're not supposed to stay in the garden after night. All right, well, let's see if we can actually... Uh, this a cut. The thicket. It's kind of a spooky area. A neat little bit of expansion to explore. We're collecting the wood. What we really need is the mallet. Oh, that looks like a cool maze out there. I think we should rest for the night. And then we can come back and kind of explore further along. I'm glad we were able to discover this, though. I mean, I wonder if that means we can actually open up uh, this area here. No? Hmm. I think better. We definitely need the mallet, though. I think it was a very good first day in the garden. Think of all the things we discovered. All the fun we had. Let's go tend to the crops. Everybody else got some water? Y'all looking good here? Anybody want to give us any plants? I'm getting a lot of the magic pollen, I tell you. It's thus important if you want to be able to expand further. You've got to grow the empire. It is kind of nice and relaxing, though. The music, the style of play. Upgrade the old statue. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff. All I've got is this hatchet. Although we should check out the back area, I'm thinking, too. And I wonder if there's anything neat kind of hidden around here that I'm kind of missing. I'll just do a quick sweep of this area. Oh, wow, this is kind of lovely. I like when they do cool gardens like this, kind of reminds me of a little spot in Vegas, which is nice, in the indoor places. Hmm. Kind of a nice little area. Let's see you having a delightful time moving through the gardens. But I want my mallet. I'm assuming you have to get up this area, but it's blocked. To prevent the peasants from getting there. They just want to get to the rich area. I need 32. It's clear I'm just not a very good gardener. Not yet. Lots of clutter to get rid of, though. We need for this a lot of resources. We 
can check out this area up here. Hmm. It's kind of a cool spot. You can see a lot larger of the area here. It took a lot of time to detailing this all out. I need the pickaxe. There's so many cool resources I don't have. This is kind of disheartening that you actually have to work for stuff. You know how long it takes to work for things. I gotta put some stuff back there, but I mean, how often would you be looking out there? Not often. Yeah, it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Harvest Moon, a little bit of Animal Crossing in there. Definitely getting those vibes, that's for sure. Alright, let's check on the water stuff and then we're gonna head back to the outside area and see if we can find anything helpful out there. Is everything dying? I've only been gone for like two minutes. I need the ball and stuff. I'm assuming these longer to grow plants grow better pollen things. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's the correct one, okay. Lots of wood. I also would like to improve the house. Would be nice. How much do I need? That's a lot of that stuff. So much to collect. I feel like I should continue on my adventure, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you could actually spend quite a bit of time working through this if you wanted to. Great sense of atmosphere. Reminds me of the... Uh, Garden areas we have here. A creepy maze. A creepy maze. Lots of logs. Actually, not, that's too big, isn't it? Kind of want to get lost in the big, uh, big maze area there, eh? Be a pretty cool spot. all the resources. Try not to miss anything either. <gasps> Whoa. That's kind of mysterious. The Sunshade Blade. Upgrade the magical portal? Did I make it nighttime accidentally? I, I really don't want it to be nighttime. Oh. That's pretty cool. Not sure why we have access to this area right away. I'm assuming that something around here helpful to my progress. Like a mallet. Maybe I can actually make the mallet. It's a good thing to think about. Because we've got lots of the wood. Like a lot of it. Hmm. Enjoying the sounds of nature. Oh, there's so many wood things to cut down. I have a lot of thicker things? No, I only got 12. Anything cool out here? I have way too high of a quantity of wood. Yes, the campfire from last time. That's what I wanted to check out. Oh, arcane studies?
That's exciting. Looks like the end of that. Okay. Hmm. Guess we should read up on what arcane studies are like. Oh, that's. Is that, I don't think there's going to be anything else here. Matok, you can use it to smash buildings into pebbles. Matok. That's what I'm trying to find is the Matok. What about the arcane studies? Okay, that doesn't really help us. We'll read, but not really where I'm at at this point. I think there's like quite a lot of content to this one. I am genuinely surprised. I want to go in the maze. Those sounds. How much just need to fix that thing up? Awesome. Did I get anything good there? Five. Only five. And I guess we gotta keep planting. Wooden boards and paper. Hmm. Delightful. But I need the uh need the mallet. Definitely need to find that. I feel like maybe I've overlooked something. Ah, oh, I finished it. Sick. Oh, there we go. Shears. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. Now I've got so many more things I can grow. I kind of want to check out the maze. I'm assuming this is going to allow me to triple my production. So I mean that's just the end there. Okay. Cool. I like the uh, the new option. We got a 15 species grown. So many different plants. She could have like torches though, it would help a lot. Uh, so I've got all this wood and I just I can't do anything with it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go to sleep soon. I kind of want to get the plants growing, at least some of them. Have a nice, easy, relaxing adventure. All right, let's go to sleep, and then we can come back here, and maybe we'll have a little bit of more growth there. Morning, in the morning. Oh, we we better do a, a late night watering and everything. Looks like something's good to go.
Let's make sure everybody's watered over here, although I think these plants are done specifically giving us any of the magical pollen we're after. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> just a little squirt there on the bed. Oh, that's funny. Okay. We need more of that other stuff. Insufficient resources? I'll show you insufficient resources. Alright, let's go plant more of this other stuff. I wonder if there's someone that's played this that's screaming, Oh, I can't believe you can find the mallet. I'm like, I know. But hey, we can open up the, uh... How many do we have of that? Three now. Okay, let's, uh, let's open up the maze. Edler's Maze. Cool. Oh, <gasps> we need that. How do we get there? Hmm. We have to work through the maze to get there? I don't know. But it's going to be fun to go through the maze. Even the dead ends. Because you never know what you're going to find in a maze, right? Cool plant. Okay, let's go around the outside. I honestly feel like the mallet is something that's like... I should have come across by now. I am happy to be in the maze though. It's a, it's a fun little area. Let's see what we're doing. Kind of want to explore each of the areas because there's always something to like come across, even if you're not going the right way. I think that's the fun of mazes, isn't it? Minecraft definitely has a long history of having uh, maze games added to it. Oh, maybe you can't get in there from the maze. I don't know. Because I think that would lead you back. Let's go take a look at the back here again quickly. So this would be the back. We went up the other side. And this way you can't go that way. Hmm. Oh, there we go. The talk. Finally. Can these be harvested? I guess they're pruned, right? That's the correct word we're looking for. There's all these like side things you can do outside of like straight up gardening and that. Like there's actually just like a lot to this. It's genuinely impressive. I think a really good time playing this. I mean, we could go through here and collect all the rocks and clean that up, but eh, I don't know. Kind of want to use this to open up the. Uh, I don't know if it's going to open up another area. Oh, I, I didn't even notice the planter there. Hmm. Anything prepared? So much we have four. We've only got four. Now what do we have? Seven. Okay. You're just gonna start like mass producing all this stuff. That's the big thing, right? Grow, grow, grow. A lovely little garden. Hmm. And we can smash. Yes, they, they really did a good job on this one. Okay, how much... 
rock stuff do we have? Like, do we want to upgrade the home? Let's see, we've got 64 that stuff. Uh, let's see what else we can actually do with this stuff first in this area. Because obviously we do want to go to new areas, right? Like, that's a lot of the uh, the kind of goals here is to reach new spots along the way. You have a lot of clutter to fix. Kind of makes you reuse areas, which is kind of smart development. I gotta say that I'm very impressed with their, their development setup on this one because it actually does kind of maximize your gaming potential and time. Very, very well done map creation, I, I gotta say. Bravo! Hmm. Let's see how the crops are. Not those crops, these crops here. Now we obviously need to plant more of them, so let's let's get this main area set up and then we'll keep looking around because I know there's another spot we have to go and check out uh, that we can now open up, I'm pretty sure, so that'll be good. Let's get this clean and let's try to get as many plants growing as possible in order to open up that other magical area. And then of course there's the magical portal, it just seems like there's a lot that we could do in this one. Okay, now we gotta clear out. Yeah, we gotta move all this stuff out of the inventory so we can actually plant stuff. I should put those all in a row. That was a bit of a misstep by me. Okay, you got two sunflower thingies. So is the goal to grow like one of everything in here? Is that why it keeps telling me the two out of 15? Do I unlock some sort of special thing? Do I get to use arcade magic? Now, wouldn't that be thrilling? Hmm. That's all of these. And let's garden this. I wish we could have this in regular Minecraft, actually. They should try to integrate the uh, the flower growing and everything like that in the, the full game. That would be nice. Because this would add, like, a nice layer of complexity to the actual full experience of Minecraft. Yeah. Too bad they don't work with partners even closer, because we would really get some truly amazing things in this game. Okay, let's see what else we gotta find. Hmm, elks. Hmm. Debating on what I want to fix up first, because we're finally starting to get like the materials we need to be able to do everything, right? I assume there's more than enough if we actually forget stuff as well. Okay, that's there. Twenty, still twenty-four cl clutter left, eh? A lot of clutter. Okay, let's go open up that wall over there. We could fix up. What is this? A windmill? The old watchtower. Let's do it. It's upgrading right now. Insufficient. 128? Is that what the issue is? Oh yeah, I don't have nearly enough clay. Oh, maybe we can see about upgrading the house first. That would be fun. Seems like a lot of busy work from this point on, though. You know, a lot of, like, going out and grinding all this stuff, but it adds a time to your adventure. Alright, let's see what we're going to find down in the spooky cave. The arcane hollow? How do we collect these things? Okay. So this is part of the arcane experience, right? Creepy, am I right? Two hundred and fifty-six. Woo! Yeah, I don't think we're hitting that goal to be honest. But cool area. I was expecting to maybe get like a new tool or something coming in here. You know what I mean? 
kind of been the feedback loop thus far, but they really nailed the rock design in that. It looks really quite aesthetically pleasing. Huh. So I guess the next goal is to open up that other area, and then, I don't know, it'll probably be the end of our journey, I'm guessing, but kind of cool. I want to open up that section up there, the, the big kind of fortress area. I think that would be a lot of fun. We are a lot more purpose-driven, though, now that we have this, though. Let's see how much we need. I think it was quite a bit. 32. We've got 9. So that's that's not too far, I mean. It's looking like the end of a day is rising. I do wonder if we get any cool bonuses for cleaning this place up. I wonder how scattered all the rest of the clutter is. So they actually seem to kind of hide it a little bit well. But it is getting dark, so let's return to the cottage and let's actually see if we can upgrade the cottage at this point. That would be kind of nice. Oh, we, we should first... Uh, so much to do in this one. <laughs> we should first make sure that everything is like watered, so though. There we go, we are collecting a lot of this stuff. Yeah, because you can grow a ton of plants here. You can really be just farming out all the gardening resources you need. Watering the crops. Again, making sure they turn colored instead of like a gray, washed out look. Do you have any more plants that we collect in? Well, we could see if we can grow the mushrooms. Yeah, okay. Oh, those provide light? Awesome. That is really quite helpful. Tall hedge. White mushroom trimming? Uh, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, and then you can actually see at night. That is super helpful. I mean, they're not torches like I traditionally like, but you know, that is helpful. Quite a bit helpful. Maybe we can collect any more of these plants just for quick gardening and planting. So, you know, we want to have as much of the magical pollen that we can gather at once. Right? Because it's going to allow us kind of to finish our work a little bit faster. Or is that because it's almost daytime that it's a little bit lighter out? That could be also the case. Back in Homestead! I think we have enough! We can upgrade it further? Oh wow, that's way cooler. Still couldn't afford any furniture, eh? <laughs> now let's see if we got anything from here, but I think these plants have kind of maybe put out their max. Well, these ones are still kind of giving water and stuff, okay. How much are we at now? 15. Oof. I think that should give us 16 or 17. Let's see what we got here. These ones need some water. Alright, let's get back to the main garden. I think we've cleaned up a lot of this area. We could go out to the back area to collect more stone, though. Kind of debating on if we need it, and then there's probably some of the maze, right? Hmm. You call it clutter, I call it essential resources.
Hmm. I swear there was like piles of this stone everywhere. I'm just not seeing it as much. Like wood too, right? Anything else back here? Like that? I don't know if we can collect that. I don't think so. Can get that though. Hmm. But yeah, in general, there's like a lot of different things you can do in this one. I don't know how far we're gonna go showing stuff off, but. Uh, you know, there's there's definitely a lot, because you can do the arcane side, and then you go into the cave. So you can actually just really put time into this one. I, I really do appreciate their efforts in regards to adding, like, a lot of content like this. It's really, truly an impressive release. Again, bravo, like I've been saying quite a few times. They, they really did put a lot of effort into it. else in here behind the blocks so well sunshine glade four clutter left okay well we specifically know that there's four clutter left and they've got to be i'm guessing stones so we're in here the grass is very high All I'm seeing is like good stones and stuff. Now giving me what I need for thicket stuff. Twine. He's just giving me tall grass. Also kind of helping me see too a little bit. That's a good block. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong area for these like rocks and stuff. No. Nope. Three left. Two left. Just one left. Hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. I actually break this down. Yeah, this actually is working. No, I didn't give anything. Okay, well that was a waste. Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Where's that last piece of clutter? It's probably like super obvious too. Anybody know where I can find a singular piece of clutter? Oh. There's another one left? I thought that was the last one. No? There's another? You've got to be kidding me. I mean, we, we don't need to find the clutter that badly. It's only going to haunt me until the end of my days. Yeah, let's 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 get back to what's important, which is finishing off the uh, the magic area over there. Ah, oh, there you are. A rare plant has grown in the sunshine glade. Air. This orange plant? 
You get rewarded for that kind of thing. Okay. Uh. I'm probably not going to get a hatchet it. Can I get the purple one? That's a cool kind of reward, right? What if I need tall grass? Hmm. Okay, I, I got enough of my bounty. Well, you can always come back, right? Not the biggest deal in the world. Let's go uh, bring this back to base. That is a neat reward, so I wonder what you get out of fixing the clutter up in the other area. See, it's one of those busy work games. They just, they offer you so much you could do. All right, let's make sure all the plants are done here. They're getting so big. Look how huge they are. Okay, it looks like we're out of magic from this spot though. Except for maybe here. Those remind me, I mean, we at 20, so we need, what, I think it was 32, right? Ugh. So much work. Tend to the garden. I wonder what you get growing over here if you actually find this, or bring everything up. We got a 6 out of 15 for the special plants, or for plant species growing here. Growing shrooms. Right, what does that bring us up to? 26. Oh. Alas, not enough. Well, we're getting some more. But let's uh let's get this all like totally filled up here, eh? That sounds lovely. Everything's full of water. That's how plants grow. Orange trimming. Cool, cool, cool. 27. Ugh. Oh. At least you can't wreck them by stepping over them. It's me so close. Alright, let's clean up this other area. Garden Guide 2. I don't know if I need to read that or not. I feel like I'm just a master gardener, so I probably don't need any assistance gardening because I'm so good at this. Shrub trimmings. Hmm. I feel like we can empty those out of our inventory because I'm not sure we would necessarily find them helpful, but if we need them later, they'll be in here. Same with the books. We can clean up this one too, just in case we need it. And it also gives us some of the, uh, the very helpful uh, twine. Because obviously twine is going to be needed for buildings, right? Okay, let's go head back tonight. I just I feel like in the morning we're going to be good to go for uh, basically getting to that last area that I want to venture to. So that's kind of exciting. Thank <laughs> you. 
insufficient. Oh, it's the twine. Oh. Not even specifically, you know, something in here gives me twine. I feel like I'm ruining my environment to get it. Or am I cleaning it up? Depends on how you look at it, right? Wait, is that ruining my hedges? The hedges kind of look nice. I don't know if I want to cut them all off. I mean, it's happening. Maybe I can, like, replenish my hedge. Will they re- yeah, there we go. Okay, good. So you can even customize your garden experience, like, area visually. That's- that's a nice extra. Okay, do we get enough of that stuff? I got 64. Wait, did we get another pile started? No, okay, so we're not done yet. There we go, that's what we were looking for. Gonna clean up just a little bit more too of this area, make it look nicer. Alright. I think that's enough. Do we get 16 or... Yeah, we'll, we'll, let's see if that's enough. Give me the upgrade! Oh, <gasps> it's happening! We're getting a bigger cottage. Do we have the biggest cottage now? I think we have the biggest cottage. Second level! Like, really? We could have used some furnishings. Do I have to put my own furnishings, furnishings in? Do they have a store for that? I am having trouble saying furnishings. A weird issue to have. Alright, let's see how the crops are going. Ooh, we got enough, I think. Let's take a look at the other side. See, never, like, if we want to go do the rest of it, you know, we would want to have more, uh, more options, too. Oh, so it is luminous. Awesome. Oh, maybe we can't grow that here. Luminous truffle. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's go uh, open up that area and see what we got. Kind of excited to see this spot, because I think this is the last section we specifically have to open. And then from there, it's just building that, right? More clutter to fix. <laughs> and you get your special regional one, right? Regional plants. It's like a lost town. Okay, I feel like I should reorganize this so it's a little bit better for me to use. That way I can click one and two to easily switch between the two, which I guess, you know, if you're on a console platform or mobile or something, that doesn't really matter, but on PC it's, it's easier just to like hotkey certain, or have certain things hotkeyed in certain ways, at least my experience. Okay. Let's actually explore though, and this opens up right into our house a little bit, or no? Oh, okay, we gotta flick the switch. And we can go back home, nice and easily. Hi home, big homestead. 
Yeah, you can kind of just build from here on out. I mean, that's really it, right? You know, and then there's the arcane element as well, if you want to do that. Um, I, I guess if you guys generally like the adventure, let me know, and I might uh, come back to finish it off. But uh, you know, I think we're just going to kind of finish off with our look at the town. Looks like there's another area you can open up over there. The Lost Town Square. I wonder if you can fix this area up too, make it look all nice again and pristine. It's it's quite an adventure. You can spend like a considerable amount of time working through this. Fancy back here. It's a good spot. Hmm. I love the architecture though. <gasps> Ooh, what's over here? 64 to go into the hall of intense book stuff. Oh, so that's where you would build like more advanced things, right? It looks like fountain stuff and Oh, that's really cool. Hmm. You'd have to grow a lot more things. Interesting. A rare plant is grown in the overgrowth. The golden bleeding heart. But, uh, yeah, I think that about, you know, kind of wraps up what you can do in this. It gives you an idea of the experience and the fun you can have. And I hope you found this kind of interesting. And, yeah, maybe we'll revisit it. But I think at that point, maybe we could uh, jump into there. It would be kind of neat. Okay, so I gave myself, while well, I unlocked the world, I created a copy. So we can go back if people would like to see like a proper continuation of this, but I just made a copy world with creative just to kind of show off, you know, the library. Then you can see like the building options that kind of pop up. It's pretty cool. So you can actually create stuff on the workbench if you wanted to. You can create all these different things. You build all these items, it shows you how to build different things, and then you can you get your furnishings. You want to decorate things, a little nice little spots for your garden in that. It's kind of cool. And then that's generally the great hall. I guess we'll show a, an overhead little perspective here, so that's that area. I want, don't want to break the immersion, but I do want to show off the different spots. So then the cave area, and then that. This is just like such a beautifully well done level. It looks like redstone stuff over there. So let's go take a look at the cave. Oh, and then there's this area here too. Final forest. This would be the ending area. Oh, that's that's delightful. Charming area. Final forest. So yeah, this is a mission you can actually spend just a ton of time working through. So let's show off this area quickly too, because there was a little extra spot here that we couldn't get to. So you needed a ton. I don't even know if I put in enough for myself here to actually open this. Let's see. It's a lot of processing. By the way, they need the redstone off the map. And then this is like the magical area, the arcane. Transmutation stations. So that kind of leads into the whole like arcane element of the experience that we kind of looked at uh, at the temple on the way out there side on the forest. Because I'm just trying to give like people a quick, well, give you a, a quick idea of how you would kind of further along things. Like you want to fix everything up, obviously the central gardens. Uh, you know, improve all the different statues, kind of do all that work. And then as you get into the forest, I think I've kind of yeah, you would do the um, this area here. She would need 128. Not sure if we have any more left. Let's see if we have enough clay in that. And then we do the magical portal. Should open here. And then that would take you to, uh, I guess, the beginning. Oh, because then you're in the the garden area, and it's like the endless... Okay. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, neat map. Quite lovely. Quite lovely indeed.